Welcome back to another practical with Mr. Chen. Today we will be looking at primary tillage and secondary tillage. I will basically show you the differences between the two terms. As you can see, this is the area that I will do my demonstration. Of course, the soil, the area is already cleared. I use the machete and the rake, fan rake to do my clearing. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you primary and secondary tillage. Before I go into the demonstration, I want you to know that the purpose of doing primary and secondary tillage is that we want to break our soil loose as possible in order to help plant roots to get enough air, drainage of water, enough nutrients by exposing the surface air of the soil. Those are the reasons why we do secondary tillage. So in other words, tillage is plowing the soil which is the breaking of soil particles into smaller particles or pieces tools we will be using for the demonstration will be the ground fork which is also called the garden fork it will be used for carrying out the primary tillage also we will be using a machete and the machete in this case will be used to do the secondary tillage also we have the and fork and this and fork will also be used for secondary tillage primary tillage is the first breaking of the soil and the first breaking of the soil is normally in large sizes or lumps secondary tillage is basically the second breaking of the soil and the soil will be break into finer articles or pieces or we could say it is a refining of the soil this is the area that we will do our tillage or plowing now, when you are plowing on a slow piece of the land, you would plow starting from the lower end and go up to the higher end. The direction that you will go, you will turn your back to the where you are going. So, of course, we'll start at the lower end. Right? Alright, so let us get into it. So, you would stick this the ground fork in the soil. Use your body weight to sink the fork. Then you brace back the fork, hold the lower end of the fork and turn over. You have to be careful of your back. So when you lose the soil, you hold the lower end of the fork to help you turn over the soil. So of course I will continue to plow until it's finished. Then we will continue the demonstration. Okay, so here we are, completed the primary tillage, which is the first breaking of the soil. Now, as you can see, the soil, it is in large lumps. Now, you don't want your soil to be like this if you're going to plant seedlings or crops. The reason B is that you want your crops to take up as much nutrients and water, and you don't want too much air in the soil. So in order to increase the surface area of each soil particle, you would refine the soil particle as much as possible. So when the surface area is exposed for each particle, what will happen is that the plant roots can absorb more nutrients from those soil particles and water. So let us go into the secondary glitch of the soil, which is actually the refining of the soil. So in doing the secondary tillage, I'm going to use my machete and in some cases, I'm going to use the hand part. Let me put this aside. So if you're going to do a large area plan and you wish to use more complex machines, then you could consider plows. Now for the primary tillage implement that you'd attach to a tractor would be the moldboard plow. Also, we use this plow to give you primary tillage. Now for secondary tillage implements that you can attach to a tractor is the rotary plow. Also, you can use an arrow and you can also use a rotary machine or a rotavator. To help you with secondary tillage, what you can do is to do irrigation. So you could irrigate the soil and of course irrigation is supplying water to the soil. Now the water will help you to break the soil easily. What I'm doing now, I'm using a bottle to do irrigation. If you have a hose, you can use your hose or if you have a sprinkler system, you can use your sprinkler system. So the water will loosen the soil particles and make secondary tillage 
easier. While you're doing your secondary tillage, you remove all the particles that you don't want, all the materials that you don't want in the plow area. So, remove plant roots, anything we don't want, stone, any objects that you don't want. So, water will help with secondary tillage. So, as you can see, we have large lumps that are very hard, so this is a sign of clay soil. It's very hard when it's dry. And of course, it has sticky property, so that's why we get the lumps. So as you can see, the soil has a lot of clay in it. I'll try to use my hand for it now. Okay, to get this area fully prepared, or to, in order to complete secondary tillage, we would have to keep irrigating and refine. So of course, as you can see now, we have completed primary tillage and started secondary tillage. I will not be able to complete the secondary tillage in this video, but I'm sure you have an understanding of what the, the terms mean. Please stay tuned, please look out for the next video. Remember to subscribe, like and share. Also, remember to leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.